Architectural moldings have a long history, dating back to the 7th century BC. Greek architects use moldings to add ornamentation and define room space. The Romans added their genius for design, incorporating rounds and hollows that created many profiles that are still in use today. In modern times, moldings are made from wood, plastics, and composites. They are increasingly factory finished for use in products such as picture frames, homes, and furniture. Factory finished moldings utilize automatic linear spray machines. The spray machine consists of the control panel, air adjust gauges, transport conveyor, workpiece sensor, spray guns, recovery troughs, filter unit, exhaust fan, and the pump. The molding sprayer concept is simple. The transport belt carries the workpiece underneath the spray guns that trigger on and off, applying the atomized coating. Underneath the spray guns are troughs which capture the overspray and recover a portion of the liquid medium. The remaining atomized spray is pulled through the filter box and exhausted out. The molding sprayer utilizes three main types of spray gun systems conventional spray, HVLP, and air-assisted airless. Spray gun setup theory takes into account three factors, the distance and angle of the spray tip, the spray gun fan pattern, and fluid quantity. The spray guns are oriented to the workpiece by imagining the fan pattern covering the piece uniformly. The least number of spray guns in play is preferred. Two offset side guns that cover the top is most desirable. As the width of the profile requires, additional guns are added to the top position. Setting up the machine begins with adjusting the side guides and positioning the incoming sensor wheel. The sensor's job is to alert the machine control to the incoming and exiting piece, thus establishing a leading and trailing edge reference. The conveyor speed is set according to production requirements. In order to have each spray gun trigger on and off, spray gun offsets are inputted. This ensures spraying occurs only when a workpiece is under the triggered spray gun. This step is critical to ensure minimum overspray is pulled into the filters of the machine. Once the control functions are set, the pneumatic adjustments are made. Air and fluid regulators are adjusted to set trigger air pressure, atomizing air pressure, and fluid quantity to each gun. The operator then moves to the interior cabin to set the spray gun orientations. Fine adjustments are made at the spray gun for spray pattern and fluid quantity. Once set, the guns are manually tested and readjusted if required. The machine is now ready to spray. After spraying application, a visual inspection of the molding piece will determine if further adjustments are necessary. In the modern production environment, molding sprayers are the ideal method for applying coatings to linear substrates providing speed, uniformity, and consistency. For more information on automatic linear molding sprayers, talk to your Stanza machinery team today.